Watts, let's go to your uh, other play. Let's talk Warriors Mavericks under 228 and a half. Yeah, so this is another fourth and six situation, third and four, but this is for both teams. Both of these teams are on a fourth and six situation. Um, if we look at teams in that setting, the under is like two teams in a fourth and six playing each other. The under is 55 and 47 ATS this season. Um, you know, I was on the under in the Warriors game today. That did not happen. That they went over. However, that was more of a failure, I think, of the Rockets defense. If you watch that game, it wasn't like the. I mean, the the Warriors were hitting some hitting shots, but it was really just a kind of a lackluster up and down the court effort uh, by the Rockets. I think both teams are going to want to slow it down, slow down the pace. We know that the Mavericks slow like to slow the pace down. They do not play at a high pace. They're one of the best half court offenses in the league. Um, but, and, and as well, it's going to be a kind of a playoff environment. Jay talked about this last night. He was on the under as well. I agreed with him. Um, it's going to be a playoff environment. Again, these two teams played on Tuesday and it was one Oh four, 100. Um, I, you know, I don't necessarily expect it to be that low scoring, but I don't think it's going to be higher than two twenty eight and a half. I mean, that's just way too high for me. I have this a lot closer to uh, low two twenties, and I think given that spot, I'm happy to take two teams that are playing great defense right now. In the past five games, Golden State third in defensive rating, Dallas is fifth. Five games is a sample size that I like to look at. That's honestly the most indicative of any of the numbers that I look at. Surprisingly enough, it might seem like a small sample, but it's kind of in that sweet spot of big enough sample, but also like, you know, looking at recency enough. So I'll take under 228 and a half. I need to get Tito to get some sort of like our producer Tito to get some sort of graphic drop in when I want to tail something. I don't know. Like tail. <laughs> I was about to say, see, I, I think I'm, I'm tailing this one too. I I'm like. in, I'm in, we're both in on this one. So I got a trend <laughs> for you to back this up. Uh, Watts, the Mavericks. I, I have a very, very, very passionate Mavericks fan friend in my life. Uh, he, Kirk Henderson, he writes over at Mavs Moneyball and hosts podcasts. And Kirk's been telling me a lot about how since the officiating changes, the Mavericks are just super handsy, that they were one of the reasons their mm. defense was really bad before was because they can't defend without fouling. And now they're just not getting called for it. So when the Mavericks average more free throws than their opponent, so the opponent doesn't generate a lot of free throws either. In the last eight games, the under has hit seven of eight times in that situation for the Mavericks. So when they're facing a team that cannot get to the free throw line because they don't generate a lot of contact and the Warriors definitely do not, they have struggled because all their off ball movement is getting held and pulled and contained. And that's been one of the reasons why Steph's numbers are a little bit down. So I think this is a great spot uh, for the under. Turvey, you like it too? Yeah, I do. I, I think the the trend is... You know, I, I am not as much of a trends guy, but I love when I hear one that has such solid scaffolding to it. I'm like, that makes perfect sense. I love that. I'm I'm in. Um, I, I was riding along on Warriors tonight. I know that one didn't get through, but uh, I like running it back tomorrow and in even a more favorable spot. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to ride along. 